Hello, YouTube. <clears throat> Hello, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Google, Moco Space, People, MySpace. Um, help me out, help me out here, man. Um, and all those social networks, Instagram, Tumblr, all those websites. <laughs> Yeah, just no, hit me up on all of them. You can probably just type in I am TDJ and I'll be on all of them. All of them is where I'm at. Where I'm at. Where I am. Okay. But, um, yeah. Boss is Ricky Rose. Boom. <laughs> Chill out. <laughs> but, yes, um, for real though, on up and up. On up and up, on down, down, left and right and all around. Yeah, that's what I be saying. On up and up, on down, down, left and right and all around. It's like, but yes, um, I've been playing around for 60, about 65, 66 seconds now. And it's really pointless to play around with life. But, oh, uh, like I was saying, let me read this, you know, the, this, it's me, untitled. I got a little I am, hold up, I'm gonna keep y'all right here for a minute. Oh, okay. I hope y'all weren't trying to read that because I'm going to read this y'all anyway. Okay, this is called Untitled. I don't know if you saw the title up there or not. It's called Untitled. Un Untitled, though. Um, it was, I typed this up on Saturday, September 24, 2011 at 6.33 p.m. I don't know if y'all seen this yet or nothing, but um, yeah. Well, a few people seen it because I got four likes on it. But that's only because nobody else has really looked at it. Nobody else really looks at my page because they don't take me serious. Cause I'm more of a funny type of person. And that's just what I do. And people don't really just pay attention. But um, yes, yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna read this for y'all, right? And no, nah. well, I guess first things first. You know, I know we all have heard girls somewhere say all oh, guys are the same or something similar. You know, and yeah, that's true. We all are the same because we're all made by God. But other than that, none of us are exactly the same. Some guys want girls for looks, reputation, or just so they can have, you know, sexual intercourse. Then you have those guys that look, wait, they have a good girl, and the girl already knows that the guy cheats and all that, but she claims she's changed and she loves him and woo woo why. That's, no, that's mistake number one. Numero uno. You know. Yes. For the female, I mean, if you know dude cheated on all his girlfriends in the past, and you know all the girls he was with, and more than likely he with you, cause all y'all had something in common. But then again, some dudes come from messed up, unstable homes where they watch their mom or daddy do it. So you no, know, it's like they don't know what's right from wrong. Feel me? But I ain't gonna say all of them turned out that way. You know. Hold up. Oh, but I ain't gonna say all of them turned out that way. Some of them use that as an example on how to treat a lady take me for instance i watch movies listen to classical music where they talk about how to love your woman i also talk to my elders i mean they might be old but you know they were young once and all they're doing is teaching us that's why i'm mainly referred to as a boyfriend type or best friend material you know a lot of guys might be in that boyfriend material i mean not boyfriend material best friend material though know, i ain't gonna lie i Sometimes when the girl, when I'm really feeling, she's like, you're a good friend and I don't want to lose our friendship. I'd be like, okay, that works. Show off, sweetie, love, babe, boo, boo thing. <laughs> I'm a fool. All that stuff. Um, but yeah, see, I was raised by my mama and, hold up, what was that? See, I was raised by my mama and I was dead when she went through... Everything she went through well about 18 years of it. But anyway, if she ever got hurt, she'd tell me, don't do your girl like this. Don't do your girl like that. So that's why in every relationship I was in, I used what she told me. And I still do. But I don't really blame the girls for leaving. I mean, I know they have the reasons. And my friends see all these beautiful girls on my page asking me to put them on or give them their number. That's really pathetic. I mean, like, 
I mean, I take the time to get to know the girl, and they just see a pretty face and instantly want her, not knowing none of the background, like she was raped multiple times at a young age, or so she being celibate, they don't know, like, hold on, where was that? they don't know she's looking for a friend that she can depend on to a certain extent, that's why when you see me out in public, and girls of all ages run up to me, just like hugging me, and like, they miss me and they love me and like, well, not like love, love, like on a relationship, husband, wife type thing, but like on a, like a big brother or like a role model type of look up and love type stuff like that. Like, they look up to me. It's like, because they know like what type of guy I am and know what I'm about. Oh, no story I just told y'all wasn't about no girl in particular. I was just making an example. But yeah, like I was saying. Oh, um, when I go to a football game or something, and girls hugging me, and I'm hugging them, and I ask how they been. That's the first thing I do, even when like even girls I never met, but they heard about me, and I do the same thing. That's just the way I I was raised, and from the last few relationships, I realized that it's better to stay friends with a lot of girls I talk to or help, because once we're in a relationship, it gets crazy. She expects me to give her 130 percent in the relationship. She put in maybe 20. Maybe 30%. That's not how it works. Okay. I mean, I said okay. That's why I typed on there. But I don't know. This. I don't know what this is. Like. Hold up. But I don't know what was. What this was about. Oh, yeah. I don't know what this was about. Just saying everything that came to mind instead of building up inside of me, letting another. But another thing. I don't have a certain type of girl. I like them all. As long as you can keep it 100 with me, that's all I ask for. You know, trust is the number one thing in a relationship anyway. I ain't type, I ain't say trust was the number one thing, but you know, that's all it is. Keep it 100, you keep me. That's how I feel. But, um, you know, that's all I ask for. You no. Know. Oh, yeah. I was like, that's all I ask. Now, what guy you know wants nothing more out of a relationship? Nothing than that out of a relationship. I mean... I know y'all probably think I'm lying, saying, saying I'm gonna want some sex, or something like that. Look around the house, make sure I'm right here. I'm typing capital letters. I don't know if y'all can see that, but it says "fuck having sex." That's how I feel about it. Fuck having sex. I mean, it's really overrated. People, people. Let me get back to my voice. People are having sex like it's a new trend or something, you know. But like I said, fuck sex. And the time you have. And the time you're in the house having sex, you could have watched a movie, cooked a meal, looked for a job or something like that. But enough about that, you know. Guess I'm just out here. I mean, guess I'm out because everything that comes to mind is going to end up on here. And this was going to be a video, which it is a video now, like a whole few months later. But, you know, it's still a video. And I'm going to upload it on YouTube. I said I was going to upload it on YouTube. I changed my mind anyway. Let me know what you thought. But this is the video I'm uploading to YouTube in a minute, about probably about 30 minutes. It's gonna be on YouTube. Y'all probably watching it right now while I'm talking and all this and woo woo why. But yes, um, dudes, it's 2012. Step your game up, girls. Don't be looking for dudes with swag. Swag ain't gonna pay your bills 10 years. Swag ain't gonna get you this and get you that in 10 years. Swag ain't gonna get you nothing in 10 years. Look for a dude with education, goals, ambition, all that stuff. That's the stuff you look for in a dude. Don't look for no swag. And dudes, if you get a girl, don't just be like, okay, woo woo why this is my girl, I talk to her, woo woo why. Just because you don't want another dude talking to her. But then you see another girl, you talk to her too. Don't do not do that. I, I did that in 2011. It's old. It's, it's nothing to do no more. That's why I came in New Year single. So I can find myself, get myself ready, prepare for a girl that I can have a better relationship with. But I think my camera's about to turn off in a minute, so I'm not going to keep on talking and discriminating. And I don't know if it's it ain't even discrimination. I don't even know what I was going to say, but I ain't going to keep on talking about this and put my camera down mad. I'm going to have to redo the video. But yeah, and I'm out. Follow me on Twitter at IMTDJ. Subscribe to my YouTube page, Deshaun23Jordan. Um, be my admin's friend on Facebook, www.com. Do that every time. www.facebook.com backslash I am TDJ. And that's T D J T E E D E E J A Y. And um yes, I'm out. I'm back to this voice because this voice is what's up. And people like this voice. You see, I got the eleven on my chest. Eleven is my favorite number. Yeah, I graduated and all that. But um, yes, I'm out. Swag. Um swag.
um up up down down left right all around swag uh i'm out see the light okay the guiding lights i don't know i just seen that on some of the bt they're like the guiding light the guiding light i was like okay but um yeah swag i'm out I'm trying to push stop. I'm trying to have like a pose so I can have the thumbnail when I push stop. I'm just like, 